Should you drink water or other fluids with your food? That's what David wants to know. Let's have a look. Ask Yuri, you've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. All right, guys, welcome. Yuriel came here. This is actually a really cool question. I actually answered it on my other channel. Uh, if you want to pop over to the All Day Energy Diet channel, I've actually, I'm actually going to show you a cool little analogy of this, but I'm going to answer it here very quickly anyways. So um, the reason that I don't believe you should be drinking, or it's not even that I believe, it's, uh, it's just the fact of physiology. Here's the thing. If you're eating food, what ends up, what ends up happening is your, your stomach takes a bit of time to digest that food, right? So it's going to sit in your stomach for one to three hours, depending on what you've eaten. Fat and protein takes a little bit longer to digest than carbohydrates. So if you have, let's say, a steak or whatever it might be, and it's sitting in your stomach, and then you down a glass of water, what ends up happening is that water is going to sit on top of that food, and it's not going to allow things to get through properly. But even more, um, uh, I guess the bigger issue really is that it actually dilutes your stomach acid. So your stomach needs to be very acidic to break down protein. And if you drink a lot of water with your food, it's gonna dilute that stomach acid, making it less effective. And if you have less effective stomach acid or if your stomach is less acidic, you're not gonna be able to break down your protein as well. And that's going to mean you're gonna require a lot more energy to break down your food. You're gonna feel sluggish, you're gonna feel tired after meals, and you're gonna feel bloated, and all that fun stuff, okay? So instead, what you wanna do is you wanna drink your water or your liquids beforehand, and by all means, please you know, avoid the, the sodas and the pops and all that stuff. If you're drinking wine with your meal, one glass of red wine, that's all. Um, okay, let's just keep it at that. But for the most part, start with your, uh, start the meal, before the meal, with some water. It actually helps reduce your appetite so you don't eat as much. And that's a really good thing. And otherwise, throughout the meal, just have little sips of water just to kind of moist, you know, kind of moisturize or moisten the food. And that's about it. Okay. So don't be chugging water. That's not what you want to do. It's not going to help you out. All right. So, David, I hope that helps you out. And if, uh, if you guys have a question that you want answered, be sure to pop over to my Ask Yuri page. The link for that is below the video. And I'll do my very best to answer it in an upcoming video. If I haven't or if I don't, it's probably already on my channel. Just search around and you'll probably find it. And uh, once again, thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you soon. A lot of studies have shown the benefit of this, and if you think about it, um, as, as human beings from where we came from, uh, Paleolithic ancestors, they would go through bouts of having no food, other times lots of food.